Logitech and SciTech flight panels and instrument panels have been around for years. Literally thousands of home builds use them, and you're trying to decide if you're going to use them for your build. Before you run out and drop some cash, let's take a look at the pros and cons. Let's jump into the pit. Hi, this is Ivan and welcome to the channel. Today is part of a series of videos called The Pit. I want to get in and give my opinion on the Logitech flight panels. These panels have been around for years, formerly SciTech, but now Logitech, and they are used by literally thousands of home flight sim enthusiasts, such as myself. I have four panels and one, actually four panels and one of the FIPS panels. And the question is, is it worth it now to get these if you haven't already purchased them? And let me just jump ahead and my honest opinion is no, it's not. But of course, there's going to be caveats to that. And also, this is just my opinion, entirely subjective. The only thing objective in this video will be if there's any pricing or I guess measurements or anything like that, but otherwise completely my opinion. So the first thing I want to do is why? Why don't I think they're worth it? And that is because they are expensive. They are really expensive. And let me kind of jump to the Logitech webpage. And let's take a look. So right off the bat, we see that the flight instrument panel, $119, which is great. It's down from $170. But we'll just say $120 for now. Here's the multi-panel for $150. The flight radio panel, also $150. And the flight switch panel. And that's the only four panels I'm really talking about. The uh, FIPS panel, the multi-panel, the radio panel, and the switch panel. Now, at the current prices, if I just got one of each, one of each, 150 plus 150 is 300, add another 100, that's 400, $520. That's, and that's just with one of the FIPS panels. If I got six of these, I'm adding another 500 and something dollars. That's, that's a lot of money. I did look these prices up on Amazon. It's actually fairly close. 147 for that, 99 for that, that's the same. The new price here, $120, that's the same. And this one uh, may be hard to see, but it's saying starting at 157. So still 150. If I go to eBay, I can get some better prices. Um, $110 for that, free shipping. Uh, $90 for that basically after shipping or $85. And let's see, $130. That's a little bit cheaper, but by the time you add shipping, $125 plus $26 shipping, which is crazy. It's used. It's more expensive than the new. Uh, so that's just doesn't make any sense at all to me. So if you haven't purchased these already, and you're thinking about it, I just, they're, they're better options. Um, at least, at least one for sure. And that's of course, air manager, which I've spoken about on several videos on this channel. And if you're thinking I'm a sim innovation shill for, for their software, well, nah, I'm not except that it really is good software. And for the money right now, I don't think it can be beat in terms of home flight simulator builds. So what I want to do is discuss, let me just show you real quick, just to show you, I do use the Logitech gear. I've got four panels. This one's not actually installed, um, and neither is this FIPS panel. I've got two radio panels and a multifunction panel that I use, and I had this, this enclosure, it had three spaces in it, I went ahead and used it. Um, but honestly, the biggest thing that I use is the radio panel, and that does make it easier. And I suspect that if you're into VR, that that panel might actually be an awesome panel to have. Of all the panels, you can learn it, and without looking, you can reach over. So if I'm just, I mean, I can literally do this by feel. These buttons are memorized. And if I'm looking at the screen, 
then I can see the changes as I make them. And so I could see that panel being worthwhile. When I purchased them, I really hadn't thought about it. Um, I just wanted something I thought looked cool and added to the feel. And there's nothing wrong with that. And that's your goal. Then please, by all means, don't listen to me. Go ahead and get them. But if you're kind of on a budget, but you're wanting to expand, then I would say go with Air Manager over the Logitech panels. Look, let's be perfectly clear. If you have a decent laptop or just a moderate home PC, you can get by, 100% get by, with the flight simulator of your choice, whether it's X-Plane, Microsoft Flight Simulator, Prepared, DCS, whatever. You, a set of pedals. I do recommend a set of pedals and a HOTA system. And you can, man, you can tear it up. Throw in a headset, and now you've got BatSim and Pilot Edge, and you can have fun. You can participate in community events. You can train. You can get a lot with just that. You don't need, you don't need all this at all. But if you're looking to kind of break out of that, and maybe expand a little bit, then the next place to go would be some more gear in addition to the controllers, which that's basically what the HOTUS or the yoke, the throttle, pedals, that's all flight controls. But now you want to branch out. And the first thing that you're probably going to think about, or one of the first things would be the Logitech panels. Because like I said, they're everywhere. And when I first got into this, man, that was the, that was the, the, home cockpit to aspire to and i still see some really cool builds using this gear but now i just think it's gotten to the point where there's there's a much better way to do it i want to briefly show you this is just a random air manager pa panel i can't say i use this one a whole lot because um, i tend to use the g1000 stuff but man, this is a great panel and this is included i think it's included it may be a pay panel but if it is, it's not very much, but it may be included. I'll, I'll find that out and put that in the, in the comments or in the description below. But basically, for the price of this panel, let me come over here real quick. We'll go over to Sim Innovations. And just for the heck of it, I loaded up a Knobster and the Air Manager for desktop into the cart. Came out to $160 euro. I don't know what the shipping would be and all that. That's about $172, $173 US, $160 even euro plus whatever shipping. And that's, I mean, that's a that's a good price. Even if you didn't get the Knobster, even if all you did was mouse and touch panel, this is just completely awesome. For about $70, which is about what Air Manager costs, I've got a six pack. I've got the Garmin 530, the 430. I've got the radio panel, a transponder. I've got all of that. All of these switches work. I, I'm, as I touch them with my finger, or you could use a mouse, all of this works. Parking brake, off and on, that throttle, off and on, that. I can do the flaps. And I can trim, I can, you know, and if I add the Knobster, I can click on, an, on a thing and turn it, press on it. All these buttons work. And I'm using my finger on my touch display. And that's just, I mean, that's, that's everything. That's everything that the Logic Tech panels do for basically $70 for the software. And I did look for some touch screens on eBay. Here's one used for $140. And you just have to kind of go out there and knew these, these panels are probably closer to $150, $100. Um, or more dollars. They've gotten a little more expensive. I purchased these two planner 22-inch touch monitors for 180 each 
used off of eBay. The seller was offering discounts for purchasing multiple, and they're 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 amazing. And I'll probably do a review in the pit on those as well. But for now, I'm talking about the Logitech panels. So this guy here, there we go. So this guy here, hundred and twenty dollars shows. One instrument at a time. You can scroll through instruments, but one instrument at a time. If you want to see all six, you need six of these. I've seen builds with nine or more. That's, I mean, that's $900 for just nine of these. Whereas right here, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, a thousand dollars worth of these guys. And then 70 bucks for the software. And that's not including adding G1000s if I want to, um, third party uh, stuff that's out there, some of it for free, amazing work. So, again, let me just say if you're thinking about the Logitech panels, I, 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 can't, I can't recommend them at all. If you've got the, the money and you really want to, have that physical hardware, then yeah, by all means, get them. Don't listen to me. I'm nobody. But otherwise, you can do better, have more flexibility, have far better graphics. The graphics on this are horrible. I mean, they're horrible. Now, there there is third-party software out there, Spadnext, and there are developers out there that do that make better looking gauges in a in a higher number of gauges. But you have to pay for that software. That software is not free either. And in fact, I think it's on par with the cost of Air Manager. So, you know, just take that into consideration. So for $300 for a couple of panels, $100 for a Knobster, $60 for the software. Now, you know, plus some cabling. Yeah, I'm right around $400, $500 for sure. Maybe even $600. And, but that's a completely flexible setup that looks great. It adds to the immersion nature of it. And, you know, compared strictly to the Logitech panels, I, I think it's a no brainer. In any case, I'm sure some of you feel differently about that. Please respectfully put some comments below. Let's talk about it. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, and if you have any videos up of your build, I'd like to see them. I'd like to see what you've done with the Logitech panels or Air Manager or any other kind of home build, home build where you're using, you know, additional screens or hardware. In any case, I hope to hear from you soon. Have a great day.